Tonight, allegations of racism at a Dallas pizza place. Call me Docky again. Call me Docky again. Two women capturing part of what ended up being a pretty dramatic confrontation all on camera after they say the owner used a racial slur. Now people from across the country are lashing out against Carmine's on Campbell Road in Dallas. Andrea Lucia live for us at the restaurant tonight with a story you'll see only here on CBS 11. Andrea? Yeah, the restaurant manager says this happened just before closing time, about a week and a half ago. She claims that the women became upset when employees didn't want to make an entire 24-inch pie to sell them just two slices. But the women say that's not what got them angry at all. It happened so quick and yes, so it. I did not expect this. Tamika Sanders and her aunt Sherry Gumpton say all they wanted was pizza. What they got was a confrontation. Call me Docky again. Caught on camera. Call me Docky again. Get the out of here, you piece of. You know what? Sanders says she ordered two slices of pepperoni, but an employee offered pizza instead, prompting some confusion. And he said pizza's around, like a circle, and when you cut them, you get a triangle. A manager claims the women began yelling. They say it was the employee. He starts yelling out that we were uneducated. But Sanders and Gupton say when they tried to leave, they found the owner, Carlos Pinto, blocking the door and cursing. But he said, I'm the MF for you. Like, but he said the word, you know, I'm the, for I'm you. the MF and for, we, for you. We were like, what? What does that even mean? Because again, this and he was is doing what, this type of yeah, stuff. He was and going, he and had, he was in my face. And he, had, and he said, these darkies are in my store yelling, no. As Pinto dialed 911, Gupton says she started recording, at one point turning her attention to an African-American employee. You shouldn't work for him. You heard him. And you're, you're, you're a darkie, too. And that's what he said. I'm a darkie. I wanted it to be exposed. The women say they later found other Yelp reviews complaining of similar racism at the restaurant. The manager, though, told CBS 11 employees only wanted the women to leave and that the restaurant wouldn't have survived more than 40 years in business if this was a normal day on the job. Now, the manager told me she did hear the owner refer to the women as being dark but claims it was only in response to a direct question from 911 about what they looked like. The owner told me he was agitated and that he should have handled things better, but he insists that it was not about the women's race. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you very much. And just for the record here, other Carmine restaurants are distancing themselves from this particular location, some going as far as posting videos online to point out it did not happen at their particular restaurant.